Away from that story, let's talk Ramadan. As Muslim faithful continue to observe the month-long fasting, Hajara Aliyu looks at how this may be affecting the economy considering the general change in consumption patterns and productivity. Have a look. Muslims fast from dawn to sunset for 29 or 30 days. Though a spiritual period, the consumer purchasing behavior impacts on the economy as many faithful throng the markets to buy items specifically to mark the month. Regardless of the economic hardship and much of the expenditure goes into food items and foods. Business is thriving for vendors of foodstuff, fruits and dairy products as they make lots of sales due to high demand. The moment of peak sales for food sellers are usually evening hours when customers rush to make purchases to break the day's fast. I think people are used to high cost of items, so this has not affected sales in any way. They still patronize us despite the cost. Fruits, especially dates, are essential parts of iftar in Muslim households. The practice is rooted in religious teachings of the Prophet. When the time comes, I always take fruit first. Make sure that if I rest enough before taking another food. Money is usually pumped into the economy at this time, especially by the rich. It is customary for Muslims to increase generosity and charity during the month of Ramadan. Rich people spend generously on the poor and this reduces the burden of provision on the needy for a period of the year. On the other hand, some studies suggest low productivity resulting from shortened working hours due to lethargy. In anticipation of the period, a lot of productivity must have taken place so that it will augment the high expenditure that will come during that particular period. As this year's Ramadan period gets to an end, come first of May, Muslim faithful are encouraged to foster peace, love and togetherness in communities across the country. Hajira Ali, reporting for GIST Nigeria.